You ever been to the grocery store and you see those little jars on the shelf that say green curry paste, or it says curry paste, or whatever the case may be? Well, look, let me tell you something. Don't buy it. It's so easy to make, and once I show you how to make it, you're never gonna go back, I'm telling you. The best part about making it yourself is you can customize it however you want, okay? So this is kind of a non-authentic version of Thai green curry paste the way I like it. This is my take. You're gonna wanna take this recipe down. It's super easy to make. Let's go. All you need is literally basil, cilantro, or if you can find cilantro root, that's better. Garlic, okay, with the root end cut off. Shrimp paste, I made my own shrimp paste, but you can purchase this part. Galangal, very important, galangal. Do not get ginger, you need galangal. Thai chili, with the seeds removed, or if you like it spicy, then you can leave the seeds in. Shallot, coriander, cumin, and white peppercorns. A little bit of salt, and then also right here, fish sauce, okay? And I think what's really important to say, I just wanna throw it out there, um, kefir lime and actual lime, like lime zest, um, do go in here, but in all honesty, I, the kefir lime never breaks down, okay? So like, it, you can feel it, same thing, um, lemongrass and uh, kefir lime I leave out, okay? Now that's just my personal preference, it's only because I like using the paste and I actually like to eat the paste, but the, the lemongrass and the, uh, the kefir lime kind of never break down, okay? The ginger you can get away with, you know, people are used to that mouth bite, but for me, I leave the kefir lime out, and what I do is I always squeeze with fresh lime or less zest, whichever dish I'm making, so I add those towards the end. Good example, if I'm making coconut curry with this Thai green curry paste, I'll add the kefir lime when I'm making the curry, all right, to whatever I'm doing, the lemongrass and the, key, the lime later, all right? Let's go, all right, check it out. We're going in with the galango. We're gonna follow that by shallots and also the garlic, and then I'm gonna throw the Thai chilies in there. So pretty much everything except for the leafy greens and also the spices. All right, so now I wanna talk because I think this is really important for the upcoming professional chef, amateur chef, home cook, but you can cut this by hand, but I highly suggest just get it in the Robocoop because, you know, considering we're making a paste, you know, it doesn't make that much of a difference in the end result. And I think that's really important to note. So as you can see, I pureed the vegetables. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the herbs. And you wanna get this pretty pulsed. I let the Robocoop go for about like 30 seconds to a minute, and then I'm scraping down the sides, all right? But once you start to get a little heat on there, that's when you wanna stop, okay? Because you do not wanna heat this up. So um, don't mind me with my little ghetto uh, tweezers, you know, half kitchen equipment doesn't work, but you know, we still make it work. Anyway, moving on. So as you can see, pulsing everything, then I'm gonna season it with fish sauce, okay? And then from there, hit it a couple more times. And then this is the important part. Once you get to this texture, I would say, you're gonna go in the mortar pestle with the spices. Make sure you pre-toast them and then ground them with the pestle, okay? And it's very important, make sure you get it pretty good. Do not do this part in the Robocoop, trust me, the, the spices never break down, okay? So it's very important. From there, we're gonna add our paste into here, right? And then from, from this point, you pretty much just wanna make it all one mixture. So as you can see, I'm really hitting this thing up. And it takes about three to five minutes, all right? But from there, man, that's pretty much it. And I think what's really important is go in those steps, okay? I'm adding a little bit of oil here, but just keep in mind that um, you know, oil is preservation, salt is preservation. So from there, I'm gonna show you this dish I made. So you're like, yeah, how do I use it, Jeff? Okay, let me show you. Listen, right now I have a hot pan oil in the bottom and then I added the Thai curry paste. I know you can't see it, but right there it is. So you wanna sweat this out, okay, before you use it in any application because this is a fresh curry. So as you can see, I have my pre-blanched vegetables. You can't see me because I got my butt in the camera, but then I'm, I'm making a quick little stir fry, if you will, to um, you know, coat this in the curry. But other than that, man, I made a lobster scallop dish. Check this out. Peep these plating skills. I'm telling you right now, hit that follow, hit that subscribe, and thanks for watching.
This is uh, Thai basil. One of my faves. Lobster, Thai curry. Okay, bunch of beautiful vegetables in there. Just so you can see the vegetables. The vegetables are snap peas, turnips, homemade Thai curry sauce. Bussin'. Now you're gonna watch me eat it. Mm -hmm. 